Hello friends hope the explanation given in the first part of the video detailing the procedures to pull out the ball assembly of a Mitsubishi self ejector SJ series purifiers have helped you to clear your doubts if at all you have missed to watch the video please go to the link attached and familiarize yourself with the procedures in this second part i'll elaborate on the techniques to dismantle the ball assembly checks to be carried out during the overall and the o-rings and seal rings needed to be renewed so do watch the video carefully till the end friends let's get started once the ball assembly is pulled out of the purifier put the lifted ball on the dismantling stand ensure the four pins of the dismantling stand fit in the holes at the bottom of the ball discard the o-ring located on the ball hood and screw the bolt of the disc clamp plate in the distributor adjust the direction of the peep hole of the disc clamp plate to be able to see the rib of the distributor fix the ball nut handle and tighten the disc clamp plate nut until the forementioned rib is at the same height to the top disc then remove the ball nut then remove the disc clamp plate Next, place the protection plate on top of the distributor and put the jack on the ball hood. Fix the disc nut and turn the push bolt to raise the ball hood. Lift out the ball hood. Remove the protection plate. and mount the jack in the distributor and lift out the disc jack install back the protection plate and fix the jack on the main cylinder with the socket cap screws pull out the main cylinder There are two pilot valves located circumferentially in the opposite directions on the ball body. Withdraw both these pilot valves using a dismantling bolt. Next, carefully clean all the parts including the top disc, the upper disc and all the disc in the stack using a compressed air confirm the passages for the sealing and desludging water on the ball body are clear of any deposits once all the parts are thoroughly cleaned it's time to reassemble back the ball assembly Install the ball body on the dismantling stand with the four pins fitting in the holes at the bottom of the ball. Renew all the o-rings in the pilot valve and the valve guide. Lubricate the valve and using the dismantling bolt install back both the pilot valves. secure the pilot valves with the valve nut install new o-ring on the main cylinder and using compressed air confirm the passage is clear
position the knock pins and install the main cylinder. Confirm the main cylinder is locked in the position. Install back the disc tag. There is a guide pin located at the base of the distributor. Ensure the guide pin engages in the correct position. Friends, please do confirm the upper disc without the fringe are located on top of the disc tag. Prolonged use of the disc may tend to lower the heights of the disc tag. In such cases, please do adjust the height using spare disc in accordance with your purifier model. Please refer the manuals for the allowable height limits. Then mount back the top disc and install new o-ring on the top disc. Carefully inspect the condition of the main seal ring located on the ball hood. Replace it if you notice any damage on its surface. Renew the o-ring and mount back the ball hood on the disc tag. Guys, there is a tally mark embossed on the ball hood and the ball body. The ball hood is installed such that these marks are in line. Remove the protection plate. Please do apply a thin layer of molly coat on the ball nut. Then using a ball nut spanner, fix the nut on the ball body. Compress the disc between the top disc and the distributor using the disc clamp plate until the tally marks of the ball nut and the ball body reaches 10 to 15 mm. Confirm the discs are compressed through the peep hole on the clamp plate. Use a hammer until the tally marks are in alignment and tighten the ball nut with the ball nut handle. Then remove the disc clamp plate and install a new o-ring on the ball hood assembly. The ball assembly is now ready to be installed back on the purifier. Friends, in my upcoming videos, I'll be describing the procedures to conduct various measurements prior installation of the ball assembly, the techniques to box back the purifier assembly, and the procedures to remove the vertical shaft. So do stay connected with my channel by subscribing it now. Guys, if at all you have gained knowledge about the purifier ball assembly overall, don't forget to press the like button. Stay tuned and thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.